we're going to be taking a look at the Long Winter Organizer, compatible with Dead of Winter The Long Night by Plaid Hat Games. Let's take a closer look. The card lane has nice engravings to help separate cards by category. There is a section for the main objectives, secret objectives, betrayal secret objectives, exile secret objectives, starting items, location decks, crisis cards, improvement cards, Raxon experiments, Raxon pill side effects, and crossroad cards. One token tray is used to hold the helpless survivor tokens, barricade tokens, despair tokens, action dice, first player token, zombie tokens, noise tokens, and moon tokens. The other token tray is used to hold the food tokens, advancement tokens, plastic stands, starvation tokens, improvement tokens, exposure die, and track markers. The two taller character trays are engraved and used to hold the bandits and zombies. All of the bandit standees and zombie standees can fit with the plastic stands attached. Custom start player token can then be placed with the bandits. The two smaller character trays are used for experiments and survivors. For these trays, not all character standees can fit with plastic stands attached. Let's put this all together. 
The two taller character trays are placed on the opposite edge of the card tray. The two token trays are placed here followed by the two smaller character trays. The location cards are stored above the token trays, followed by the Raxon, Graveyard, and Bandit Hideout cards. The Colony Board and Rulebook are placed on top. And that's it. Thank you for watching.